name is Ginger. I'm a librarian here at the Ladysmith Library. We're part of the Vancouver Island Regional Library System and I am so happy to bring you another edition of our video series, Viral Recommends. Today I want to um, share some of my favorite books that um, kids find funny. So uh, if you are in the mood to get some kids laughing, and who, who isn't, that's the best thing in the world, um, you, uh, I'd encourage you to look for one of these books that I'm gonna share today. <clears throat> uh, so the first book that I wanna share today is called The Book With No Pictures, and it was written by uh, B.J. Novak. Um, and um, the title of this book, the cover of this book, seems sort of plain, seems sort of simple. It doesn't seem like it would be that funny, but um, it, I, every time I've read this book to children, I get guaranteed laughs. Um, if a book doesn't have pictures, like, will it be fun? Will it be entertaining? This one is. Um, and it especially is because B.J. Novak um, is a great writer and he understands that uh, words can make you say silly things in ridiculous voices and uh, be very entertaining to, to all that listen to you. Um, it's totally imaginative um, and it's gotten kids laughing every time I've read it. Um, also, it, uh, because it is so silly, you can read it to older kids too. I read it to kids up to 12 years old and um, everyone has enjoyed it. Um, it uh, it's, uh, creates a ridiculous and a joyous experience to share with kids when you read this book. Um, but be warned, this book does come with a warning on the back. And this warning uh, reads, this book looks serious, but it is actually completely ridiculous. If the kid is trying to make you read this book, the kid is playing a trick on you, and you will end up saying silly things and making people laugh and laugh. Don't say I didn't warn you. Check it out, The Book With No Pictures by B.J. Novak. The next book I'd like to share with you today is called Life on Mars. It was written and illustrated by one of my favorite authors, John Aggie. Um, in this sneaky, silly picture book, an intrepid but not so clever space explorer is certain that there is life on Mars. He sets off on a solitary mission, determined to prove the naysayers wrong. But when he arrives, he sees a very barren planet um, until finally he spies a single flower and he picks it and he takes it back to Earth as proof that there is indeed life on Mars. But the twist is that the illustrations tell a different story. Um, unbeknownst to the explorer, a Martian, who you can see right here on the cover, has been wandering around the illustrations the whole time and kids will notice the Martian and it will drive them crazy that you, that, that the explorer and that you, the reader, aren't noticing the Martian. So check out Life on Mars by John Agee. The next book I'd like to share today is called This is a Ball and it was written and illustrated by Beck and Matt Stanton. Everything you read in this book is wrong. Everything the reader says will be wrong. Adults must read this with absolute certainty and resolve. If you do this, kids will be thrilled to correct you. There will be groans of disdain right up until the very end. This is a great book for children to laugh their way through their annoyance. It start, the annoyance starts right on the cover too. As you can clearly see, this is not a ball. It's a cube. What is wrong with this silly book? So check out This is a Ball by Beck and Matt Stanton. The next book I'd like to share is called Polar Bear's Underwear. And it was written by a Japanese team called Tupura Tupura. Um, in this book, Polar Bear has lost his underwear. Where could it be? Is that Polar Bear's underwear? Let's see. Is this one Polar Bear's underwear? No, it's Zebra's underwear. How about this 
tiny pair. Is this polar bear's underwear? No. It's butterfly's underwear. So the search continues with every page revealing an animal in their undies. Guaranteed laughs. The genius of this book is in the cutouts. Every other two-page spread features polar bear and mouse looking for a pair of underwear. They determine quickly that it isn't polar bears, but whose is it? Kids will love guessing. Um, and then when you turn the page, it reveals whose underwear it is. And it's not until um, you turn the page that you know for sure what type, what animal it is. And there's a surprise ending. I'm not going to give it away. Check out Polar Bear's Underwear by Tupra Tupra. So the last book that I'd like to share today is called That Is Not A Good Idea. And it was written and illustrated by Mo Willems, one of my favorite authors. He also wrote the Piggy and Elephant books and Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus. So great, Nuffle Bunny. Anyhow, his books are really funny and I like this one a lot. It's laid out in the format of a silent movie. And this story tells of a conniving fox and a little goose who spend time together. The audience, the baby geese down here, and the readers, announce how bad the various ideas are as things become more and more precarious for our feathered protagonist. Here's an example. Fox says, would you care to continue our walk into the dark woods? And the goose says, sounds fun. And the goslings say, that is really not a good idea. The tension builds and builds with more and more really not good ideas until finally, well, I'm not gonna spoil the ending. There's a great twist at the end. Read, that is not a good idea to find out what it is. These books are funny, but they also do one of my favorite things. They allow children to be the smartest people in the room. Kids will check your face for reactions and they will enjoy your confusion. They'll laugh and exclaim with glee when you just don't get it. What could be funnier? So I hope that these, you'll pick up one of these books sometime soon and get kids laughing. Thanks, bye.